Hi, so in this video what I wanted to show you was how you can turn a simple uh, Google slide into a self-check quiz or game that your students are able to go through. Um, this is uh, going to be really helpful for especially the primary grades um, because it's, it's very visual, very interactive. Uh, you don't have to worry about logging into a system. You can link this directly onto your playlist uh, for right now. So uh, I'm going to show you what a sort of a completed one looks like and how it rolls through and then I'll walk you through the process of what I did to create this. All right, so we start off, um, we are going to present it. So I click present and we have self check quiz or game. I click the button below to start. So I'm going to go ahead and press next. Okay, why can't Elsa keep a balloon? Okay, you get two smiley faces by answering questions correctly to hear the answer. So that's what they have to do. Click the big next button. Again, very visual. Uh, this will work on a tablet. This works on a Chromebook. This will work on anything because it's a presentation. Um, what is two plus two? So first question, big buttons here so they're e easy to identify. Um, they don't have to worry about a quiz structure or anything. They're just very visual. So we have three, four, or five. Let's say I pick three, which is the wrong answer. It says, sorry, you didn't get that quite right. Uh, but click the back button to try again. So I click the back button here. And let's say I do get it right this time. And it says, that's correct. You've earned your first smiley. So you can keep track up in the corner. Um, and then I'm going to press the next button once again. What does blue and red make? Okay, I guess it should be what do blue and red make? Sorry for any grammatical errors here. I threw this together in about 10 minutes. Uh, we have purple, green, yellow. So let's go ahead and green. No, that's incorrect. Back button, purple. Okay, that is correct. You've earned your second smiley. Uh, answer to the question, and why can't Elsa keep a balloon? Because she let it go, let it go. And that is the basic structure of the quiz. Now, the cool thing about this, and I'm gonna start with this, and then I'll end with it as well, is when you go to share um, this presentation or share this with your students and you want them to automatically be dropped into uh, the presentation view of this, when you go to get shareable links, okay, you're gonna wanna copy this link Okay, and let me do control C. Okay, and then when they, what, wherever you link this, when you link it, I wanna show you what you need to change. Instead of changing edit, instead of this saying edit, you want it to say present. Okay, that big difference right there will turn this into a presenting link. So when I press enter, it'll automatically jump to the presentation view of this game or self check quiz. Okay, again, changing the edit right in the URL to the present button. That's a huge tip for you. Um, so your students don't have to click present. You don't have to worry about anybody possibly editing anything. Um, it goes right into the presentation view when they click on that link. All right, perfect. So let me show you what I did to get started. Okay, so first things first, uh, let me create a new presentation. You'll want a blank presentation. And I'm gonna be flipping back and forth between these so I can just show you some side notes. I'll give you sort of the overall structure um, and then how I ended up linking everything. So you start out with your title screen um, and you can make this as flary or, or, or uh, fun as you wanna make it. Uh, so let's go ahead and click this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my title. This is um, a quiz, okay, or, or game. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, and then you wanna give them some direction. So click the next button to start, okay? All right, we can restructure this a little bit. Click the next button to start. This is, this is how all this works together. You want to start adding in buttons for your students to press. So the first button here, I'm gonna grab a shape. Um, I like using the arrow feature that's on here, um, or you can use uh, any of the other, other ones that are on here, but I like using the arrows. It's very uh, intuitive, very instinctive for students to look at. Uh, so here is the button, and I'm going to double click. I'm gonna add next. It gives them the, both the visual of the next button and also the word as well. I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger, bold it, center it on the button, um, and you can change the color. If you want this to be even more flary, I guess is the, is the word I'm gonna use, uh, you can change it to say that it's red, or. You can change it to like pink, anything you want to grab the attention of your students. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one white and we're gonna end up programming these later on. Not really programming, we're linking them uh, via URLs which are actually embedded into the presentation. Okay, so I gotta go ahead and press next, or new slide, so we're gonna create a new slide. All right, so why don't we make this um, 
the, it, this is like the introduction slide. You, you can, again, format this however way you want. Uh, why can't Elsa keep a balloon? You start out with a question and they can answer it when they've completed the assignment. Um, so you can do that here, you can do the directions, uh, or we could just jump right into the questions. I'm gonna do that right now. So question one. Okay, what is three minus one? Okay, so question number one, um, what is three minus one? Okay, and this again is where you're going to use buttons. I like to use big buttons for students to uh, visually be able to see. So say you have three options, I'm gonna grab um, circles here. Side note, if you hold down shift, it gives you a perfect circle. Okay, and then we'll make these pretty vibrant. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this one yellow. We'll make, we'll copy it, we'll paste it. We'll make this one blue. Okay, we'll copy, paste, make this one green. Okay, so there are gonna be my three options. If you double click in any of these uh, buttons or shapes, you can actually type directly into them. So I'm going to, it says, what is three minus one? So let's say this is the correct answer. And we're gonna say two. All right, so I'm going to fold it, make it a little bit bigger, we'll make it 30 and we'll shift it to the center, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a wrong answer here. So this wrong answer one, um, again, we'll make it 30, we'll bold it and we'll make it five, all right? Um, and then this last one, again, doing the same thing. Um, and we will make it 30 once again. We'll bold it and we'll make it, say that they read that as three plus one and we'll make it four. Okay, so we have our, our uh, answers here to our question. Um, so we're, we have to do two things now. One, we have to make a correct answer slide and then we have to make an incorrect answer slide which ends up looping back to this question to have them ask again. Okay, so I'm going to create a new slide. I haven't linked anything yet. I haven't done anything with linking uh, the buttons, which you can't do until all of your slides are set up. So I encourage you to, I, I'll drop the myself quiz. Um, I'll put a copy of that in the description of this video. Uh, I can share it with you directly, let me know. Um, so you can just edit and modify that one. Sorry for my dog in the background. Okay, uh, so here we go. We have, um, correct answer okay and you can make it again however way that you want um, I like to make it a little flashy for students so correct answer and uh, if you were doing the whole like star system um, or smiley face system it gives them a sort of an incentive uh, all I did was do insert and we go to image and we can search the web for it so I search the web and let's go let's go to star Apart. This is through Google, so it'll bring it directly in. Let's say that they they earned a star for correctly answering this question. All right, shrink it. Boom, they've earned their star. Uh, good job. We'll just do good job. Click the next button for the next question. All right. Again, you can play with formatting of everything. Um, and this again, I'm gonna grab my next button. I will make that a little bit more flary. There's my next button. Okay, and then the other thing we have to do is the incorrect answer. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna copy this whole slide. And if I go too fast for anything, um, let, just pause the video. Feel free to rewind, watch it again. Okay, and we'll make this one incorrect answer. Great try, but that wasn't quite right. Please try again. Okay, and we'll get rid of the star. Um, and what I like to do is we're actually going to flip flop this. So instead of a next button, we now have a back button. Okay, and we'll put that in the directions. Please try again by clicking the back button. All right, you would just repeat this process for multiple questions uh, over and over and over again. You have a question slide, you have a correct answer slide, and you have an incorrect answer slide. And you can reuse these over and over. You just wanna make sure you check your links later on. So I have my quiz. So I'm gonna start off here. We click the next button to start. 
this next button is actually going to take me to the next slide. So to do that, I'm going to click the button, and I'm going to press this link, insert link button. Okay, this is where you end up going to do pretty much everything. Uh, you click the next button to get started, so that takes us to the first question, and we are going to click next slide and apply. And now it's a clickable link. So if I were to click on this, it would take me to the next slide, which was my first question. Okay, so now we have to make sure we pick the right answer first. So this is the right answer, number two, three minus one is two. So I'm gonna click this button, and I'm going to again, insert a link, and I'm going to go to, um, I don't, I, I, I want the next slide, so I want the correct answer slide. So I'm gonna press next. Okay, I'm gonna apply it once again. Okay, so uh, now, again, we uh, did the first one, so that takes us to the next slide. Now this next one, I don't wanna go into the next slide. What I want is in my links, I'm gonna to link to this presentation. Um, I want the incorrect answer. So the incorrect answer is going to be this uh, slide number four, okay, slide number four. Incorrect answer, and I'm gonna apply that. Okay, again, it's the incorrect answer. Uh, this one, likewise, I'm gonna do the link, and I'm going to select the incorrect answer. Sorry, you can't see it on my screen, but there it is, so slide four, incorrect answer. And I'm going to press, again, the apply button. All right, now, so that did our question slide, so I have my correct one, incorrect, incorrect. And you can see the links as they pop up. Next slide takes me to the correct answer. Uh, here's my incorrect answer, and here's my incorrect answer as well. I'm gonna click on the next one. This is my correct answer slide, so great job. And this button right here would end up taking you to the next question, so question number two. And for our sake, I'm going to paste it down here and we'll make this question number two. I'm not gonna do question number two in the video here, um, but uh, just so I can link it. I'm going to link slides and I want to go to slide number five and apply. Okay, so this is a lot of mapping back and forth, but once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quickly. Incorrect answer. Okay, I don't want it to go to the next slide. What I want is for it to loop back to my question because this is gonna have them take the question over again. So I'm gonna go back to slide number two, which is my question number one, apply. Whoop. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to link it back to slide number two, which is my actual question. I'm gonna press apply. So now if I were to present it, I have my presentation slide. I'm gonna go ahead and press next. It takes me to the question. And then it asks three minus one is what? Okay, three minus one is two. So it gives me my correct answer, press the next, and it takes me on to question two. Now, likewise, if I were to press present and start off, click the next button, but it did an incorrect answer. Sorry, that's incorrect. Try again, press the back button, takes me back to the question, and loops me back through for the correct answer. Okay, so that is how you set up the structure for your quiz um, for them to be able to click through. Again, very, very good for elementary, primary students. Um, for a, a nice visual practice. Okay, so hopefully this has been helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And remember when you go to share it that you change this edit into a present. Thank you for watching. Peace out.